Multiplex are really accustomed to working in live environments. It's probably one of the things that differentiate ourselves from other contractors. The 161 project required you to think outside of the box, and that's probably one of the things that we do really well. During that process, the team developed a design to build a building, a convention centre, a hotel tower over the Western Distributor. The Western Distributor is one of Sydney's busiest arterial roads. You know, it has over 100,000 vehicle movements a day. It's a main approach to Sydney Harbour Bridge. So just knowing you're playing in that environment, it comes down to how do you manage the works. The works had to be undertaken at a nightly shutdown and the nightly shutdown that we got was between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. So a really short window of opportunity to undertake the works. And to undertake those works, it required detailed pre-planning by the hour, by the 30 minute segment to make sure we undertook the works in a controlled manner. But more importantly, we opened the roadway back up for the Sydney morning peak hour at 4 a.m. Multis had a process that was called the disruption shutdown advice. So they'd issue, I guess, a notification to the hotel and there were prescribed time periods for it. You know, so if it was a modest disruption, it'd be two weeks notice. If it was a major disruption, it'd be three months notice. And then met with the hotel on a weekly basis. And I attended all of those meetings as well. The success of the process really was the communication. How did we manage the works? It took a lot of pre-planning and not only pre-planning the event but also pre-planning our people to be able to undertake the event. We had a team that would operate the project during the day and we had a team that would operate the shutdowns at night. There was always a handover period and there was also an early acceptance period. We had teams coming back early in the morning to make sure the road was opening up at 4am. The stakeholders we had to work with on the 161 Sussex Street project were stakeholders such as City of Sydney, we were located in the Sydney CBD. Roads and Maritime Services, we're building over Sydney's business arterial roadway. Transport for New South Wales, or the Traffic Management Centre, and the Emergency Services. They were the statutory authorities we dealt with, or stakeholders. On top of that, we had our client who owned and operated the hotel. We had all the guests who reside in the hotel, and we had the surrounding neighbours adjacent to the project. So we had a large stakeholder network we had to manage. There were no contractual issues, and we came out the other side with just this beautiful building, really crafted where it needed to be crafted. We were delighted. Why make life difficult when you can make it easy? Two subsequent building projects have both gone straight to multiplex. One opened in 2017, and the next one opened in Melbourne in December this year. For us, it's just fantastic to have a builder of multiplexes quality anxious to work with you. And for them, I know they're very proud of the record they have with us. They're just very committed to continue working with us and more of these great outcomes, great relationship.